Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I made you a nice 22 minute video, but guess what? I forgot to plug in the lavalier microphone, so there was no sound. I doubt I could say it all exactly the way I said it before, but I do want to go over a few things. All right, I wanted to basically cover the subject of discernment of spirits. I'm sure y'all are wondering why I took the video down. It had all to do with the discerning of spirits. The problem has been taken care of. I was asked to remove the video because it was there were a few uh, things wrong, but it has been taken care of. Somebody got heart healing and deliverance. Do you know, some of you are new, but those of you who have followed me for a long time know that I used to get messages from the Lord. And then I started getting lied to. Why is that? I've had people leave comments before saying, Oh, if you're truly a prophet of God, everything you say will always be right. Well, things are different now than they used to be back when Elijah got his mantle which he dropped onto Elisha when he was raptured. And believe me, Elijah was not perfect. The Bible doesn't say anything about him getting any lying spirits. Demons weren't prevalent in people back then, but they were around, obviously. Or Jesus, why did Jesus be casting them out when he was on earth? It's not very good grammar, is it? But we read of plenty of places where Jesus casted demons out of people. So they were around. Some people did have them. Even children of God. Children of Abraham. The chosen. The Israelites. Okay. So how do they get in us? And how do they manage to cause us to hear incorrectly? Or do not receive a message at all? Or maybe the 90% of the message is right and 10% is wrong. All it takes is one line, a little phrase. Like, repent, or else you'll just get farther and farther away from me. And you cannot repent from taking the snake venom, y'all. That is a lie brought in through a lying spirit because someone needed some heart healing and deliverance. Do you follow? All right, so before I got on to make the first video I made, I got on my little phone here and I spoke into it. It has this Google Assistant. And I just said, um, scriptures, please find scriptures on the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Because I wanted to go over discerning discernment. This is what I pulled up, and this is why I want to warn you. When you go to search an online for things you want to find out about, because I do advocate research, okay? Looking stuff up. Be sure you get at least three sources and notate who the source is. All right, this is what came up. This one entry on my spectrum uh oh it's trying to mess up here's what it says the seven gifts of the holy spirit are enumerated in isaiah 11 2 through 3. they are present in their okay go away fullness they are present in their fullness in jesus christ but are found in all christians who are in a state of grace we receive them when we are infused with sanctifying grace the life of god within us dash as comma for example comma when we receive a sacrament worthily. Who's the source? Uh, 
itrr.arizona.edu. I bet is that it's a Jesuit university. But here's the thing. All sources with a .edu mean it is a college, a university. I don't care if it's a Bible college, a state college, Harvard, Yale, Georgetown. I don't care who it is. It's run by Jesuits. Highest order in the Catholic Church. Uh, oh, I said so much in that other video. I didn't mean to get into when it... I'm just so disgusted that it didn't have sound. Y'all, it's so frustrating. I tried to make a video yesterday or the day before. Can't I think it was Christmas evening. evening asking y'all to just please keep me in your prayer. Because it's getting so frustrating to have my stuff fried. Four computers now. And then I get on a brand new tablet and there's no sound. So I have to go back to using this little lavalier microphone. And I don't even think the sound is all that great. But at least you can hear me. You can do something. You can use mic, uh, earplugs or headset or something. And get it louder if you want. But to sit here and pour my heart out for 22 minutes. To find out there's no sound. After praying. God use me. Speak through me. I would already prayed. I did not sing though. I'm not perfect, and I won't be till I get to heaven, and I doubt any of you will be either, so let's just get it in our heads right now. Jesus in Matthew 5 tells us all these different things. I did a sermon on it, if you want to call it a sermon, a Bible teaching, a few weeks back on Matthew chapter 5. It's maybe a couple months now, really. The very last verse says, Be ye perfect, therefore, even as your heavenly Father is perfect. He's talking about the way you live. We're going to keep making mistakes. We're not going to be 100% well. We're not going to be perfect. But it's our goal. Okay? It is our goal. And when we make a mistake, we got to fess up and own up to it. I don't care if it's to your children, to your spouse, to your boss, to your coworker, to the neighbor next door, whatever. If your dog chewed on her fence, you go tell her and apologize and ask her how much it costs to fix that. I will cover it. Somehow I will do it. You see what I'm saying? That's walking right. That's loving your neighbor as yourself. Doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. And now I'm getting off into a whole other subject. I wanted to address the, the discerning of spirits. When I looked it up on my tablet and typed in scriptures on the discerning of spirits. Let's do it again in real time. I wasn't, I was having such a hard time pulling my camera up. When this lavalier microphone is plugged in, this tablet, like, has a mind of its own. And it won't pull the camera up so I can record. So I've been trying to unplug it, pull it up, plug it up, do a test video. I finally got it to where I made a short test video and it played. So I'm counting on this to work. All right, so I'm going to pull up on my Amazon Fire tablet. Oh, great. That's still here. I, I couldn't get rid of this. It seems to be stuck on. It says, your YouTube dashboard. It has my little icon, a lion and a lamb up here. And it says, your data and YouTube. But it won't get off of here. Sign out. I had to sign out. See, now this tablet's giving me trouble. All I want to do is serve the Lord until the day we're out of here. And he knows it. The enemy knows it. 
And all I want to do is what the Lord has called me to do, and that is to tell you the truth about, you know, the lies taught in the pulpit, the lies on the news, the over-exaggeration of what something is as simple as a simple case of the flu, unless you have pre-existing conditions. But this thing they want you to have is not going to keep you from getting it. That's who's in the hospital now. Most people in the hospital with this so-called illness and that are dying from it are fully, hmm, veed. They took the snake bite. All, you know, the recommended amounts. Now, some of them are not. They're dying from other causes, and yet, that's not what the news is telling people. All right, so it's welcoming me back to my page. Now, see, Lord, I need your help here because this doesn't, it doesn't have a mouse. It does not work like a computer. It's different. Ah, thank you, Jesus. He had me to push it up with my finger and there showed me the little button you push to go back to your home page. Thank you, Jesus. I need your help all the time. Now I'm going to type in. Turn this on. Delete that. Delete. Okay. Scriptures. Let me try to type. Script. Sure. Oh, it's already pulled up because it remembered from last time. Enter. All right. First thing I got was 1 John 4.4, 4, which says, it, this is the ESV over here. There's 221 helpful votes for this. Uh... Then it says not helpful, but I don't, there's no number by that. Beloved, this is the scripture, 1 John 4, verse 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit. That means don't believe everything you hear. But test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Know this. Demons can say the name of Jesus. They know Jesus. They tremble at the mention of his name, but they can speak his name. They're good liars. All right. Then under that, let's see, you can uh, tap on this Bible verses about discerning of spirits. Now I'm in the King James Bible. Here we're given 1 John 4, 1. 1 John 4, 1 through 21. 1 Corinthians 14, 1 through 20. 1 John 4, 1 through 6. 1 Corinthians 12, 8 through 10. 1 Corinthians 12, 1 through 31. If you want to know more. That's the one I suggest everybody read. Mark 16, 17 through 18. 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 13. 1 Corinthians 12, 10. 1 Corinthians 12, 11. All right. Now I want to suggest, if you don't already know this, a lot of you are old timers, you know this already. Uh, I think if I close this, it'll stay right there. The other thing did. And I had restarted my tablet. All right. Why is it that messengers get lied to? True messengers. Been hearing from the Lord. Like myself. How do we get lied to? It's because we need heart healing and deliverance. All Christians 
I would dare say. If not all, it's got to be close to 99%. You may have been brought up by godly parents who were in the Assemblies of God or Pentecostal Holy Spirit filled church of some kind. It might have been called non-denominational. But if, they, if the Holy Spirit was active, people prayed in tongues, some people prophesied in tongues, other people interpreted, people got hands laid on them, they got filled with the Holy Spirit, people were being slain in the Spirit. And yes, that's a godly thing. You can be overcome by the infilling of the Holy Spirit or even a fresh anointing, a fresh t touching. Pastor filled with the Spirit can lay ha his hand on your head and you can go back. And people never got hurt. They always had ushers to guide them down. And they would lay there and just praise the Lord. They weren't dead or even near dead. They were just overcome by the Spirit. If you've never experienced that, I hate that for you. And I would never send you to a church and have you to try to get it like that now because the Satan has sent his demons, witches, Satanists into these churches that are doing good, that were doing good works. The pastors have fallen full of pride, greed, being caught with sexual sin and things like that. It's just sad and awful. But he has been telling us for years since I came on, started getting messages about 10 years ago, and I had to make a YouTube channel because he told me at the very first message and tell people. My very first message, he woke me up middle of the night and he said, you are out of time. I heard it, not audibly, but it, I heard it in my head. Like a thought, but it was booming. You are out of time. Repent, pray, and tell others. Pretty sure that's it. I've never forgot it. I can't quote any of the other things I've gotten. I know bits and parts of them. I have to get out my journal and read it if I want to know what they all said. But I was like, I was watching some YouTube videos my daughter was sending, so I guess I, I had an account, I guess, cause, so I could comment. But then about a week later, I got another one. And that one I had to get up and write down. And I started getting them pretty regular. But after that second one, I said, I, Lord, I, I, don't, I don't know how to go around here at this apartment complex and tell people, so I'm going to just... I guess you want me to make videos. He didn't say it specifically, but he said, and tell others. So I got on making YouTube videos and telling what the Lord was telling me. It led me into listening to others and what they were saying. I became a watchman. Tried to discern with the help of the Holy Spirit who was really hearing from the Lord and who wasn't. And in the beginning, I got misled, but then I grew. After I started getting lied to, about five years later, got puffed up, I guess. It's all I can figure is I must have thought too highly of myself. Somehow Satan got in, and I got a lying message to my sister to not let her kids go on that missionary trip in Mexico because ISIS was down there and they would be hurt. They would be killed. Tell the youth pastor not to send the children to Mexico. That was straight up a lie. She did no more listen to me than the man in the moon let her kids go on. Teenage girls, well one of them ended up not being able to go. The other one did. Went on to Mexico, that city that tourists go to right across the border. But I guess they went into the villages where the, you know, poor people work those hotels and motels where folks go to stay for vacation. Those fancy restaurants and bars. It's poor people that work them. Well, they went into the villages, I guess, and gave them pamphlets in their language and maybe they took them clothes. I don't know. I don't know how it was a missions trip, but they had a good time, she said, my little niece. Because I wrote and asked her, how did things go? And she said, oh, great, we had a great time. 
nothing about we led seven people to the Lord passed out uh, Bibles in their language did this and that and that. I don't know how it was a missions trip but you know what I knew that before they went and I was judging them why does the church have their children raise thousand dollars piece so they can fly from Georgia all the way to a tourist city in Mexico and it opened up it opened up a door for one of the demons in me to give me that lying message which then what did that do it discredited me with the family so when the important thing came along and I tried to tell at least one of them I know the Lord showed me that on Christmas Day. My phone mysteriously pulled up messages back and forth from me to my oldest sister where I had been telling her not to take it, that it would change her God-given D slash N slash A. She didn't listen. So anyway, the list was a little bit incorrect. If you want to know anybody in particular that you follow, just leave it in comments or write me an email at genieheartesty at gmail.com. And I'll look at the corrected list, and I will let you know. I think most of them were correct, but I know there were a couple on the yes that I didn't agree with. But I thought, who am I to disagree? I'm ending it at that. It's two, 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 four. Two, 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 five, six, seven. <laughs> Two, two, two. We're almost in the year 2022. Grafted in Team Jesus was given the number 222 to add to their name a couple years ago. Now they're Team Jesus 222.com. They have lots of content that's good and worth watching. And they're bold. Kathy and Dan they tell it to you like it is and I'm proud to be a member of their team I've learned a lot I've got to fellowship a lot I've got to share a lot with y'all see uh, up to this thing I was free to share any of it I guess I need to ask when it's something special We just don't want to cause, well, they told me not to talk about it because we're still seeking the Lord on some, okay? But see, that's what I'm here to tell you. You need to seek the Lord. You need to ask for the gift of discernment. I read off that list. I'll try to type them out in the description box. This tablet, I don't have a type. I have to peck everything I enter. And it's more difficult. But I'll do what I can. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. I pray it goes up. I pray you hear it. And that you all will understand that no one's perfect. We're learning from each other. I'm still learning. Some of you are just starting. Start with giving your life to Jesus Christ. Don't wait another day if you haven't already. Don't wait another day. Don't look at the negative things that you've heard about Christians. The things that confuse you. Have an ounce of faith. Jesus said if you had faith the size of a grain of mustard seed, 
you could speak to this mountain, be removed, and it would be removed into the sea. Of course, we pray everything in Father's will. Let it be done according to Father's will. Do you realize what would happen if you really actually tried to move a mountain just because you wanted to build a road through there? First of all, that would be greedy. Second of all, all the people living on the mountain and those beside it in the path from the mountain to the sea would get killed. So, you see, if you're following the two commandments of Jesus to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and with all your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself, you're not going to ask for a mountain to be removed into the sea because you wouldn't want to harm all those people in its path. You see? Do you see how one has to be bounced off the other? Or one affects the other? We can't just pray nilly-willy prayers out of greed and have claim it saying, well, I've got more than a mustard seed of faith. I know it will be done. Not if it's not Father's will. If you're also praying the Lord's Prayer or something similar to it, Lord, let your will be done down here on this earth just as it is up in heaven. And you really mean it. You're praying that. Then you don't want to pray a prayer that goes against it. All right. I've said enough. I'm going to close this off here now. I'm going to try to get into the Word. I want to look up the book of Jasher and read some more of that. We also learned, the, well, one of those parts from Sister Kim in Looking Towards Heaven with Jesus that I shared my last video. It's 20-some minutes. In the description box are the six links to Grafted In Team Jesus' channel where Kathy interviewed Kim and Kim gave all that the Lord showed her and one of those talks about the Apocrypha. All the many books removed from the Bible. And he said those are his words. But they teach us things like spiritual warfare and how Satan works and how come they get away with stuff. I see I'm starting to get a glare on my face. It's looking like I put face like I got a face mask on. Let's see if I can stop that. Let's pull this maybe. It's just not a good angle, I guess. How about that? Is that better? <laughs> anyway, I'm closing it off. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of you if you are not marked. And if you are, you might as well unsubscribe and go somewhere else. I can't do anything for you. I'm sorry. The rest of you, I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your devices and your internet connections and mine as well. And I pray this video goes up and that I have made my point. Feel free to leave your questions in the comments. Okay, or you can email me, as I said, at genieheartesty at gmail.com, and I will do my best to answer in a timely fashion. I do my emails on the other tablet since it has a keyboard, and that helps. But I make typos because they're kind of closer together than a usual keyboard, and so I have to. it's a little harder to correct. And Anyway, I'm doing the best I can. Let's just stay in touch, stay connected. Stay in touch, stay connected most with Jesus, okay? And I don't know why I just turned all kinds of red there. Stay in your word, stay in prayer, stay in praise and worship. Jesus is coming soon. We can tell by the signs of the end, he's got to be coming any day now. You just keep hanging in there and keep looking up because our redemption draws nigh. It's closer and closer every single day that goes by. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.